There are also startling new numbers tonight revealing just how many have died from the coronavirus in Ohio nursing homes. Five on your side, Chief Investigator Ron Regan joins us now. And Ron, you've been tracking those deaths here and across the state. Well, here's what we found. 276 have died in long-term care facilities across Ohio since April 15th. Now that's about 30% of all COVID deaths since early March. Those living in long-term care facilities are among the most vulnerable. Ohio Department of Health records reveal Cuyahoga County tops the list with 29 deaths. Summit County, 15. Stark, 14. Ashtabula 11 and 9 in Lorraine. Statewide, there have been nearly 3,000 COVID-19 cases in nursing homes in just the past two weeks. Peter Van Runkel heads up the association representing Ohio nursing homes. I don't think it is the worst case scenario um, because we were pretty, we were prepared as much as we could be. Um, the, the, the challenge is that um, you know, I could have it right this moment and don't even know it. And he insists nursing homes are doing their best to protect Ohio's more than 73,000 long-term care residents. We're doing our absolute level best to do that. Um, you know, we're now, we're now, everyone's wearing masks in, in the facility. Uh, both the if, the, if the resident goes out of their room, they're supposed to be wearing a mask. Uh, staff are supposed to wear masks at all times. Even so, complaints over care continue. Beverly Laubert is Ohio's long-term care ombudsman. We're looking for um, uh, ongoing communication. We're not sure that's happening real well. Um, we're hearing from families saying, they told me initially what was happening, but now I'm not hearing a lot. And some facilities are doing a better job of protecting than others. It depends on uh, the facility, depends on what the situation is. Uh, we have uh, one of our big concerns has been um, admissions and readmissions from hospitals, especially readmissions. And the nursing home industry says that personal protective equipment and testing still needs to be increased. I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan.